picture I could see if I just close my eyes Have the foresight to believe Time don't move backwards, it speeds me to the fair the end of the weekend but i still wanna turn up yeah i still wanna turn up all i want is to go again but you ain't picking your phone up why you messing my head up any night any day let me take you away all i need is just saying yeah 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 better nights better days when you're here with me babe Cause you're all that I crave, so I wonder Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Don't hide away from me when I need you most We got love guaranteed and I have to know, say Good morning, y'all. Just left by the whole fools. Welcome back to another vloggy vlog. I just had to run in there and get some fruits and veggies because me and Sean were starting a 75 soft challenge today. And for the first three days, we are going to be doing liquids. So we're going to do juices, smoothies, and yeah, I'm super excited. So I'm going to be documenting that for you guys so you can see, you know, how it goes. And I'm super excited about it. I've done a juice fast before. However, I haven't done it in a while. And the last time I attempted to do it, it kind of failed. I flopped. I dropped out probably like the second day. So we are doing it headstrong. I'm getting ready to run to Food Line because I need to pick up a few more groceries that we need for the week. I'm trying to think of dinner ideas it's not going to be so tempting for me to want to indulge on because I still have to cook for my daughters so I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to make for them to eat I'm just gonna to have to be disciplined and just stick to it stick to it Dominique <laughs> but I hope you guys are doing well welcome back to another vlog if this is your first time catching a video from me make sure it's not your last I would love to have you over here so let's head to food line to pick up the rest of the groceries that we need and then go home and make these juices I'm super excited y'all I got my water right here I'm trying to down this I've already taken my vitamins this morning which I've been doing really good with my vitamins for about since the beginning of the year like I've been doing really good with it in my iron pills and all of that ever since I went to the doctor in December and the doctor was like you we got to get your iron up so I was like okay let me get consistent with taking my iron pills so I can get my body together <laughs> Sometimes life can be tough And you feel like you just had enough When you're thinking everything is gone wrong Just remember that I'm here to cheer you up y'all back home and i am washing all the fruit i'm still using this spray right here it's the fruit and veggie cleaning spray i don't know i feel like it it's a difference in the fruits and just how it feels and everything after using this spray on it i love it i love it i love it and i've had it for a while i think i showed you guys this a few months back and probably yeah probably like right when we moved here um, i picked this spray up so about five months ago and I'm still using it and a, this bottle goes a long ways I'm just now getting to like right here but um this right here y'all this is organic pure pineapple juice so they had two different ones in here they had like another pineapple juice but this one I got the one that said organic 
and I was watching someone on YouTube and he was drinking this and the only ingredients in here is organic pineapple juice when I tell you guys it's so good I'm definitely gonna have to go back and get some more but I got this to go in some of the juices that I'm getting ready to make but honey I could just drink this by itself it's so good mmm it's so good oh this is so good this is so good so um, it's 100% vegan, no preservatives, allergen free, gluten free, unsweetened, but it's so sweet. Like it's so good. Oh my God, it's so good. So yeah, let me go ahead. I really don't feel like juicing, but I need to, I need to. I'm gonna go ahead and make a couple juices real quick. So the juicing that I'm doing is not a part of the 75 soft challenge. Like you don't have to do that. I'm, I just chose to do that for the first um, couple days of it. However, for the 75 soft challenge, you do have to eat more healthier meals. You have one cheat meal a week. Um, you have to exercise once a day for 45 minutes read 10 pages out of a book of your choice so i've already chosen my book and everything like that sean has his book i don't think i told you guys sean is doing it with me just remember that i'm here to cheer you on yeah i want to pick you up from the ground let you know that i'm all do y'all want to know what just happened so i'm in the middle of making my first juice i have not finished and my what is this called juicer stops working it will not come on like what in the world it just like started shaking and stopped working I'm hitting the switch. It's okay. <laughs> it is okay. Like, are you serious? Are you serious? All right. So, we're going to have to get a new juicer. Right in the middle of me juicing. Like, trying to hold me back. But I'm not going to let it hold me back. So I have some celery in here. I have put some dates for a little sweetness and then one apple, green apple. But I didn't even finish making it, so I don't know. There you have it, happy Monday. I have been peeing like crazy because I've been consuming so many liquids and I felt like it's flushing my system out as well i just refill my water up before i left i'm in the carpool line so i told y'all i have to read 10 pages out of a book each day and i cannot find the book that i really wanted to read but i read this book about six or seven years ago back when i was living in washington state i was in a bible study group and we read this book together so I already have like some tabs in it and notes and I've already written inside of it but I was going through my books the other day I'm just unpacking some of my books and I found this and I was like oh I want to read it again and I'm going to sit here and read it while I'm in the carpool line my covenant with God's help I commit to the next 40 days of my life to discovering God's purpose for my life what on earth am I here for a life devoted to things is a dead life blessed are those who trust in the Lord they are like trees planted along a riverbank with roots that reach deep into the water such trees are not bothered by the heat or worried by long months of drought their leaves stay green and they go right on producing delicious fruit. It all starts with God. For everything, absolutely everything above and below, visible and invisible, everything got started in him and finds purpose in him. It's not about you. The purpose of your life is far greater than your own personal fulfillment. Your peace of mind or even your happiness is far greater than your family, your career, or even your wildest dreams. If you want to know why you are placed on this earth, you must begin with God. 
You were born by his purpose and for his purpose. The search for the purpose of life has puzzled people for thousands of years. That's because we typically begin with the wrong starting point. The Bible says it is God who directs the lives of his creatures. Everyone's life is in his power. You didn't create yourself, so there's no way you can tell yourself what you were created for. If I handed you an invention you had never seen before, you wouldn't know its purpose. And the invention itself wouldn't be able to tell you either. Only the creator or the owner's manual could reveal its purpose. So it is later on, it's eight o'clock right now at night. I am getting ready to lay down in the bed and call it a night, okay? I am so tired, hubby worked me out. Like my arms are just like so spaghetti-like. <laughs> I was in the shower trying to wash my armpits. I'm like, oh my God, I can't even lift my arm up. But I wish we could like work out like that more often together in the gym. We do have equipment in our garage, but I like the vibe of being in the gym together and you just have more equipment and different things that you can do. So I really enjoyed working out with him today. Tomorrow I plan to go get a juicer, find a juicer because I need to make the rest of my juices. That one juice that I did make earlier, I let Sean drink that and I just been drinking water and I drank that pineapple juice. I didn't drink all of it, but I drank some of that. And since I didn't have my juices to drink, I ended up um, eating grapes and some granola and that but and of course I told y'all that ju me juicing was not a part of the 75 soft challenge I can eat you can eat on the 70 75 soft challenge it's just I chose not to for the first three days that is what's going on thought I'll update you guys and I will see you in the morning <music> yesterday about the pineapple juice and they are out of the organic one this one right here it has pineapple juice filtered water and pineapple con concentrate but I don't want that I want the organic like <sighs> and they're on sale so I think that's why they are out oh my gosh should have got more the other day However, I'm gonna try this one right here. They have this in organic. It's pineapple and ginger. Should I go ahead and get two? Because what if this is good? And then, you know, they're out when I come back. Oh, that sucks. All right, so we're gonna get one of, or two of these. And I'm trying to see if I want one of these. On my way out, on my way out. I saw this and it's a smaller bottle, but it's the organic pineapple juice baby your girl is hooked and the brand is Lakewood <gasps> I'm taking a miss mmm so good oh so good you want to taste it no. it's pineapple juice it's really really good 
so this is day two in the carpool line we are getting ready to get our reading in i actually started reading when i was at gymnastics today with summer so day two is you are not an accident i am your creator you were in my care even before you were born isaiah 44 and 2. you are not an accident your birth is not a mistake or a mishap and your life is not a fluke of nature your parents may not have planned you but god did he was not at all surprised by your birth in fact he expected it long before you were conceived by your parents you were conceived in the mind of god he thought of you first it is not fate nor chance nor luck nor coincidence that you are breathing at this very moment you are alive because god wanted to create you They spend their entire lives running from regrets and hiding their shame. Guilt-driven people are manipulated by memories. They allow their past to control their future. They often unconsciously punish themselves by sabotaging their own success. When Cain sinned, his guilt disconnected him from God's presence. And God said, you will be a restless wanderer on the earth. That describes most people today, wandering through life without a purpose. We are products of our past, but we don't have to be prisoners of it. God's purpose is not limited by your past. He turned a murderer named Moses into a leader and a coward named Gideon into a courageous hero. He can do amazing things with the rest of your life too. God specializes in giving people a fresh start. Those fear-driven people often miss great opportunities because they're afraid to venture out. Instead, they play it safe, avoiding risks and trying to maintain the status quo. Fear is self-imposed prison that will keep you from becoming what God intends for you to be. You must move against it with the weapons of faith and love. The Bible says, well-formed love banishes fear. 
well-formed love banishes fear since fear is crippling a fearful life fear of death fear of judgment is one not yet fully formed in love I don't think you're gonna like it. You gotta taste the green one. The green one is really good. I like this. You do? It's not bad. It's really healthy for you. Don't get on my pants. It's good, right? Yeah. We got the aftertaste. y'all day six i am drinking a smoothie this morning so in my smoothie i have strawberries pineapple mango and then i mixed in some of the juice that i made so in the juice is celery green apple pineapple juice ginger and i added a little lime juice and also i put my collagen powder from black girl magic i'll try to link everything down below the um powder from them and then also my trio seeds which consist of flax seeds chia seeds and something else but it's really good y'all it's really really good i will say that celery juice like celery in general is just overbearing like it's so potent okay so i really taste the celery in it but it's not bad like mixed with everything else is not bad at all so this is what i'm drinking this morning so we did the three days of liquids and by the third day like I was feeding for something to eat and that day I actually cooked chicken for the girls and I'm just like oh, I want this I want it I want it I want it so I'm not gonna lie I made it to 12 o'clock p.m. like I, my body naturally woke up at like 12 something and I came down here and I had some leftover chicken and I ate like a piece and it wasn't fried chicken I like cooked it um, in some olive oil however I had to put something on my stomach because I wanted like some food food um, but other than that I've been doing good and not eating too late and everything like that I have seen some changes in my body when I started out I was 140 to 143 maybe even 144 i don't know i have the pictures and videos on my phone and now i'm down to 136 or 134 136 so we are dropping weights but more than that i feel like i've dropped some inches i wish i would have measured in the beginning versus now but i feel like my stomach has went down a lot and yeah i feel better actually so Anything else? No. I've been taking my vitamins every day. Um, all of that. But I just wanted to come check in and end the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this, you know, just me showing you different things that I'm doing to just live a healthier life. Not saying that I'm not going to, you know, eat any other things that I um, like, but just making healthier choices over eating out or over consuming things that are not so good for my body, if you know what I mean. But yeah, I just, I just, I don't know, it was fun filming this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. My skin is looking good. What you put in your body is so important. Like, you all, this month I made the changes. I began making changes beginning of March. And I can tell a difference in my skin, especially with this cycle, because I usually break out and have like acne and bumpy bumps and act like, uh, what is it? Period bumps, whatever. Period acne. None of that. So cheers to healthier choices. And you got it. I got it. We got it. And make it a great day, y'all, whenever you're watching this. I hope you are doing amazing. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.